Hey everybody, Jim Perry here. So, got a, a couple hours, end of the weekend, decided that I would do some easy digging and easy metal detecting. So, uh, today's focus is coin hunting. Uh, only strong signals, only stuff that is close to the surface. Although, I always end up pulling a lot of trash that's deeper as well. So, I know. I just feel like I want to be kind of picky on the signals today and uh, just relax, see what I might be able to find. Um, expecting a lot of coins, expecting probably some trash, but hopefully a few more coins today. So let's see what might turn up. So I'm just heading back and forth across this grassy field and down maybe, maybe two or three inches, probably closer to three inches, I'll pop this. I've already cleaned it up because uh, I was curious. Um, looked awfully dirty. Um, this is War Nickel, a 1943 S, which had 9% silver in it. So, very, very cool. We'll uh, give a little time out here and see what might turn up. So, uh, we're on the other side of the field here now, and maybe four inches down or so. Uh, I know others who have dug plenty of these out here, uh, key fob to a vehicle. My daughter needed to order one of these for her new vehicle. It was $300. It is amazing to me how many of these we find uh, while out metal detecting uh, in it. I'm assuming that people just leave them and don't come back looking for them because they're not sure exactly where they lost them. So um, another one to add to the pile. So it's been a while since I've done a live dig here. Um, one hand on the phone, the other one on the detector. Um, I do have a, a signal here. Um, I've got my headphones on, so you're not gonna be able to hear exactly what it is, but 6667 on the simplex is always a penny. Once in a while I'm surprised, but um, this should be a penny. Let's see if we can get this dug live here. side pennies are one of the signals that are so consistent oh, looks like it fell out here whatever it is And there we have it. So, and that is a penny. That's one thing with more and more practice with coin hunting. I um, really do know the numbers on this machine. Uh, it's nice to pretty much guarantee 66, 67 on here ends up being a penny. A lot of the 78s end up being dimes, 90, 91 end up being quarters. So if I'm uh, coin hunting, and it come out, and for instance, a nickel, almost always 29, 30, maybe 31. The uh, that war nickel today with a little bit of silver, and it was slightly higher. It was between 30 and 32, so uh, very, very consistent. So when I'm looking for easy digging and pretty much guaranteed targets, um, know your numbers. It makes it a whole lot more enjoyable. So I'm going to call it an evening. The uh, sun is starting to go down, and I'm getting hungry. I'm tired it's been a long day so it's time to head home for supper um, ironically even though I was just looking for easy targets the trash to treasure ratio really wasn't very bad not a huge number of coins and nothing extremely exciting aside from the one uh, but for grateful for what I did find let me show you very quickly here so a grand total of 15 coins and the set of keys to a car and the key fob to it um, 
I'm leaving today with a quarter, a couple of clad nickels, three dimes, small handful of pennies, and then the 1943S war nickel, which is 9% silver. Very cool. Grateful for that today. Um, again, just mindless coin hunting today. Practice on the machine, listening for tones, and paying attention to numbers. So a location like this is not where I tend to prefer to detect. I don't mind it. It's more like I tolerate it. Uh, I tend to like to be out in the woods or out in an open field, farm, an abandoned homestead, looking for stories to the items that I find there. That said, there are times and days that I just want to do mindless coin hunting, uh, see what I can find and go home happy no matter what it is. Normally very, very simple things. That said, very, very grateful for the war nickel today. I'm assuming someone uh, sometime in the last 10 or 15 years had that sitting in their pocket, didn't realize that it was uh, it all older, slightly more rare than the normal nickel in their pocket, dropped it while they were out here watching their kids play and let it sit there all this time before I picked it up today. So, mind the coin hunting today. Enjoyed it. Time outside is always great. As always, thanks for joining me again today. Hope to see you again soon.